Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this animation in Blender. We are going to create it by using geometry nodes. If you are interested you can get the file via the link in the description for a dollar. So let's get started. First let's delete the thing and add meta balls. Add a ball, shift D and duplicate it again a couple of times like this. Now select them all and press F3, randomize transform and then go down here and at the location select all of them and drag it like this and then do the same for the scale. Now let's reposition some of them I think this looks good. Now select the mesh, go here and resolution viewport set it to 0.2. Now control A and visual geometry to mesh. Now let's add a displace modifier and set the coordinates to object, press new and select cloud. I mean go here and select clouds. Set the size to 2 and now let's add an empty plane axis. Select the mesh again and select the empty for the object. Now if we select the empty and move it or rotate or scale it, the modifier will move along with it. Now with the empty selected let's press I and keyframe the rotation Go to frame 251 and set the set rotation to 360 and keyframe it. Now go down here to the timeline and press T to make it linear. And now if we press play, it's going to loop seamlessly. Hmm. Now let's add a plane and go to geometry nodes. Press new and drag the meta balls in here and delete the group input. Now let's hide the meta balls here in the viewport and also in the render. If you don't see this option then you can go up here and enable it. Now let's hit Alt Shift and click on the object info and now click on relative and add a mesh the curve. Now let's add a curve to mesh. Now we need an extrude mesh. Set that to edges and duplicate it and set it Leave it at the edges, but set the offset scale to 0 0.025. Now in between here we need a subdivision surface. You can leave the level at 1. And now a realize instances. Realize instances, sorry. <laughs> and a set material. Now if we hit play, as you can see the geometry will move along with the empty. Now let's create a new material, call it gold. And now let's select it here. Go to the shading tab and close these windows if you want to, I don't need them. Now let's add a color ramp, connect it to the base color and set the metallic all the way to 1 and the roughness to 0.27. Let's select the color here and make it something like this. And before we add any more nodes let's set up the lighting so we can see it better. I'm going to go to color and environment texture 
I'm going to leave a link to the HDI that I use in the description. Now let's make this transparent. And just so you know, we are going to render this in JPEGs later, so it won't actually be transparent, it's just that the background will be black. If you want it to be transparent, you need to set it to, to PNG and RGBA. Now let's continue working on the shader. I'm going to make this a golden color, like this for example. And then this one a darker golden color. I think this looks good. Or well, maybe a little darker. Like this. Now if you have the node ring light on installed, you can select the color ramp and press Ctrl T, delete the image texture and connect the vector to the factor. And connect the object to the vector here. Now let's add a Musgrave texture. Set the scale to 400, the detail to 16 and the dimension to 0. Now let's connect the vector to the normal, add a bump node, set it to point 0.3, and now let's add a noise texture. Set the scale to 12, and the detail again to 16, roughness to point 0.45, by the way, I recommend that you save if you haven't already. Now I just noticed I forgot to set this back to JPEG. And by the way, make sure that the quality is at 100%. Now let's add a cube. Scale it by 100. Now press new and delete the principled BSDF. We need a principled volume. Connect the volume to the volume and set the density to 0.1. And as you can see, we can't see anything now. So let's go back to layout mode and set up the camera. So I'm going to position my view the way that I want it. Like this, for example. Shift A, add a camera. Control Alt 0 to go into camera view and rotate it on the Z axis, like this for example. Now let's add an empty. This is going to be the focus point of the camera and the lights that we are going to add in a second. Now let's go into preview mode. Select the camera and and go here. Check depth of field and select the second empty. I'm going to set it to one for now. I think that's still too high. Point two looks good. Now let's add a spotlight and. Under the constraints, set it, select track 2 and select the second empty again. Now as you can see, anywhere we move it, the light is going to focus on the empty. So let's go into camera view, rendered view and G shift Z to move it on the X and Y axis only. And let's try a power of 25,000. I think that's too strong. Let's divide it by 2. Again, divide it by 2. Maybe 1,000. I think 2,500 looks good. Now I'm going to set it to a yellow color. Slightly yellow. And now let's duplicate the light. 
to use Shift Z again. Make sure it's selected and divide the power by two again and make it like a blue for example. And let's duplicate it a third time. Go into camera view again and make it red. Now I'm gonna set it to a slightly yellow color like this. Yellow, red or whatever this is now. I think it looks good. Now let's go to the render properties. I'm going to render it at 128 samples with denoise enabled. If you have an NVIDIA GPU you can use optics. Otherwise you can use open image denoise. I just prefer optics personally. Now under color management set it to to standard and the look set that to high contrast and the exposure to minus one. This just makes it look slightly better in my opinion. Now for the compositing I have this simple setup just check use nodes. Uh, to get these options here you need to enable denoising data and then just add a denoise node and set it to accurate. Now let's set the output folder. I already created one for that. Let's call it abstract shape. If you put an underscore after the name Blender is going to automatically assign numbers to the frames. So now let's hit accept and save one last time. Once it's done rendering I am going to show you how I can composite the assembled images into a video. So now let's go up here to render and render animation. After it finished rendering let's close this window and go up here to the plus sign and go to video editing and choose video editing. Now let's set this to FFmpeg video, set the encoding container to MPEG4 and the op quality to perceptually lossless. Now make sure that they are on frame 1, hover over this area here, over the file location, press Ctrl C and Shift A, image sequence and paste in the location minus the name. Press A and as you can see every single image has a different number. Now hit enter and now let's hit render animation again. Now it's going to compile the images into a video. So that's it of the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did please press like. If you didn't press dislike and I'll see you next time.